So let's start implementing our methods. The first one is add album and as you can see it takes band ID as well as the album. So first thing we need to do here is to make sure that these are valid values. So we will use if statement to check if the band ID is empty. So if the band ID equals guid.empty then we'll throw an exception and we'll throw argument null exception. So we'll have the argument null exception and we can just throw it as is but it's always a good idea to know where this exception is coming from or what caused it. So we'll do the name of and pass in the band ID as the reason for the exception. Similarly, we need to make sure that the album is not null, that the user actually entered album data. So we will use our album and check if it is null. And if it is, we will throw argument null exception again, but this time the problem is coming from album, so the name of will be album. And if everything is okay, we can now add everything to our context. So our album dot band ID will now equal the ID of the band coming from this method. So it's gonna be the band ID. So now we have the album ready to be added to the context. So the context dot, and we want to add this to our album data set. So it's gonna be album dot add, and we are adding the album. And that's it for our add album method. Remember, this is only adding it to the context, it's not saving it in the database yet. For that, if you remember, we will have the save method. That will be called directly later on. This is just preparing everything to be added to the context before saving it into the database. So next, let's do the add band method. 